Today I seem to be in Bradford and Avon, Somerset, which I always think is Wiltshire, and I'm with a video we're doing a walkabout. The barge in, that really is terrible. I mean, I don't mind a good pun, but there's no excuse for that. A world of fun with Dick and Jane, really? Another terrible canal-based pen, the lock-in. Nothing like a bit of postmodernist architecture to relieve the ruralist gloom. This is an artisan enclave in Bradford Navon. 10.38 in the morning and hardly any artists in residence, they're still in bed. As William S. Burroughs said, Ari type, no principles. What this place needs is a good second-hand SF bookshop. This is the Tithe Barn at Bradford and Avon. Quite an impressive structure in a charming setting. Of course there's dogs, or is it kids pretending to be dogs barking in the background? But yeah, look at that. Quite sure what a tithe barn is, but we'll go and see. gives you an idea of the scale it's actually quite big it must be in the region of 200 yards long I would say interesting ribbed structure this is the other entrance everywhere you go in this country there are noisy children of course they're not in school because they're under five and under fives are allowed in everywhere free and not that I paid to get in here It's all very Game of Thrones, isn't it? Trough or coffin, you decide. Just think of those opening shots of Solaris. There's a pub quite near here, at a place called Avoncliff, where you can sit right under the river and it is just like the opening shots of Solaris. I have to shoot there one day. Time for a better shot. Lots of moss. Here he goes. This is Ravello, the Italian restaurant. Now I've been to the real Ravello in Italy and I can tell you it's nothing like this at all. I've got a signed first of that, which is a paperback original. That's Bevis by Richard Jeffries, which is the key book by um, Richard Jeffries, who of course wrote After London, Wild England, which is the sort of template for the um, British catastrophe novel, really. 
Um, this is a more famous book in his time these days. I think it's out of print. There's probably terrible print on demand editions out there. Um, I should really pick it out, but I think it's one for another time. So at the back of this little second-hand bookshop, they have this second-hand room. I say second-hand bookshop, the actual shop is new. We'll have a little look around here, see what we can find. Finally, a bit of genre fiction, some Tim Levens there. It's not looking too exciting, I must say. There's some more copies of Analog there. I'd completely forgotten this Whitley Strieber catastrophe novel. I'm not familiar with these Levens, I think they must be YA. I don't know what this is, it says age 12 and up, but it's got a cover by Leo and Diane Dillon. Um, who used to do covers for Harlan Ellison. I think it's a historical novel looking at it. Just have to look that up. Eth Clifford. Hmm. Okay, nothing here really, but that's where the cookie crumbles sometimes. There used to be a really great second-hand bookshop down that street, and I picked up a biography of Lovecraft there by Lynn Sprague to Camp for five pounds. Because that's 25 years ago, it's all gone now.